Now we'll be creating a data-driven test and in data-driven test, we'll be reading the test data from the Excel sheet. So for that purpose, let's say I've created a folder over here, Excel, and I've kept this Excel sheet over here. If I uh, open this Excel sheet, then the sheet has got a search test, uh, like search test sheet name. And then we have uh, city and country as the columns. And then the data start from the second row, right? So uh, it's, it's something like uh, what we have uh, done earlier that we have hard coded the data over here. So country like, although we are not using country at the moment, but in case if we have more test data, uh, just that one column uh, will gonna write it manually like this. So this part is what we need to replace it from the Excel part. So from the utility that we have seen, uh, like we have created Excel reader over here. If you remember in the utilities section, we have created this Excel reader file. We have seen how to do reading and writing from Excel. So uh, what we need to do, if you take a look over here, this whole is basically returning a list. And in that list, we have two more list, which is storing the uh, rows, information like these are the two columns so uh, this is actually storing each row so that is what uh, the logic that we need to convert that uh, uh, we need to treat them as a row and these two should be columns and then these are list and this is also a list so we need to replace something over here which should uh, actually read this data from the excel sheet and then return it so what I'll do I'll be using open pi excel so uh, first what I'll do I'll gonna uh, say workbook workbook equal to open by excel so we're gonna add this import this open by excel and say dot load workbook first I'll be loading the workbook the workbook is in the excel package excel folder and then the workbook name is test data dot xlsx so once we load the workbook, I'll be calling the sheet. I'll say sheet equal to uh, workbook and the sheet name that we can give over here is search test is the sheet name that I've given, right? We'll be getting the total rows and total columns. So we'll say total rows equal to sheet dot, uh, one of the method is max, max, row and then uh, the total columns total columns equal to sheet dot max column so this is going to give us uh, the row count and the column count right so so now i'll be running two loops over here one for rows and one for columns so the loop will gonna go like this for uh, I in, uh, let's say I in, uh, like I'll say range and the range I'll be defining it, uh, from two starting from two, because, uh, the first one is the header. So I'm excluding the header. I'm starting the data from the second row. So start from second row and go up till total rows plus one. So this will be the range of the rows and same with columns. Columns will say, we'll, uh, gonna write J in range columns are starting from one and should go total columns plus one and then what i'll be doing i'll be creating one main list so this is the main list that holds other list over here so what i'll do i'll uh, just gonna create a, a variable over here name it as main list so this is uh, basically a list and then I'll be creating a data list. So this is going to be a data list. So this is data list, this is data list. So what I'll do, I'll say uh, data list. So this is again a list. And what data will be storing, once we are inside the loop, we first need to get the data. So how to get the data? Uh, we'll need to say sheet dot cell. If you remember, cell is the function that accepts your uh, row. So we're going to say uh, row equal to uh, row we are getting from I and then uh, we need to say column, column, C-O-L-U-M-N, column equal to uh, 
uh, j. So the column is coming from j and then we need to get the value. So this is how we'll be uh, getting the value and then we need to store this value. We need to add this value into the data list. So how to do that data list dot insert and how are we going to insert it? We need to provide the column and we need to provide the data. So add uh, like the first column, get this particular data. So data is this. And then uh, once the columns are over, it is going to go to the row. And what we're going to do in the main list, we're going to say main list dot insert and uh, in the first row. So first row, we're going to get it from I. Uh, first row as in uh, we are starting from second so it should be the second row it should add all the data so data is coming from the data list so whatever data that is stored in both the columns we're gonna uh, add it to the second row and this way it will be iterated to the third row as well and at the end it should uh, return you the main list now this get data is not returning you the static data it is going to return you the dynamic data which is there inside uh, the excel sheet right so you need not to worry about how many total number of columns are there total number of rows are there it is automatically going to get the row count and the column count and then going to get the data and we're going to store it in the main list and each data row set will be stored as an individual list right and each list, list contains the columns data. So now you just need to pass this get data over here. And when you are getting the city information, so the very first column is city, you can get the city information, you can get uh, the uh, like uh, country information. So we have, uh, let's say how many columns we have, we have two columns. So we need to pass uh, uh, the country as well over here. And then we need to pass the country over here as well. Right. And let's run this now and let's see if the data is being read from the Excel. We have commented out this code, right? So now the data that should be read should come from the Excel and it is going to become a data driven test. So let us run this and let us see. And let's see if we are able to integrate our Excel test with APM. And see, Delhi is coming from Excel sheet. Right, first test is over. It's pass. Okay, it has not navigated to the second test. So let's see why I didn't navigate to the second test. Uh, let us open the Excel sheet. Okay, so we have Delhi, we have Dubai, we have two set of data. Search test, city, country, everything is good. Starting from two. Just a moment. Should actually execute both set of data. So if I try to print the main list and try to print the total columns Total columns are str total columns and same way total rows are let's see what output we are getting. It should not execute only one time, it should execute the test twice and let's see over here
that's saying first test successfully executed and pass tally okay so uh, it's not printing so what we can do is we can try running hyphen hyphen s and hyphen v to get the output so total rows are three and uh, see it is actually getting the data uh, delhi and india but let's see if it is uh, getting for the first test or what so the test is being executed and it says collected uh, item as one okay so it's only uh, only 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 getting the first item so let's see why it is getting only the first item Uh, 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 okay 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 i i can see this thing i mean i'm actually returning the mail list with the column data it should return it uh, once the rows are over so that that was actually the issue i guess so let's run it and let's see uh, if we are getting two set of data this time see now both the data are being collected so two items are collected now we should be able to see two test cases getting executed let's see So executing the first set successfully executed and now it should get the second test now getting the second test and now it should get it for Dubai perfect so the data driven test is working fine absolutely so with the parameterized data for the same test case right so this is how you do the data driven testing uh, while working with apm you can integrate your data driven test through the excel file all right so that's on that's all in this lecture thank you